Hi, this is Justice with Tablet Pro, and I wanted to introduce you to a couple different things. Uh, the one that I am most excited about, I'm going to talk about last. Um, what I think is really a huge improvement for Tablet Pro, and what I hope all of you guys are able to enjoy, is uh, I made a new preset for Photoshop. Uh, this is Photoshop, by the way. I like using it expanded out because um, this takes care of 90% of the different functions that I use inside of Photoshop, so I don't really need to have the UI around. You know, if I need something in particular, I can just open up different palettes this way, or uh, tool bars, whatever they're called. All right, so um, what I'm really excited about here, I can press this button and switch to a full keyboard that has almost all the keys on it. Uh, I can also do that with a long hold of the pen. Double click brings me back here, and single click we've actually done something really interesting with, which I will show you at the end of the video. All right, so right here, let's go ahead and draw a little bit. Now I'm gonna pick a different color. And now we're gonna select this whole layer, move it around, and then move it back. We're gonna pan around and zoom. And you notice that all of these go back to the brush tool. Uh, so these are, are, are definitely more advanced tools here. So that they, uh, they really are designed and designed by Photoshop to save you guys as much time as you're pressing as few buttons as possible to get work done. Um, all right, uh, anything else? I think that's really the main things that are going on. Everything is working now the way that I want it to, which is, is great because we were not there for a long time. All right, you guys ready for the big feature reveal? You probably know what it is because I put it in the title of this video. So if you're paying attention, oh, that's probably not easy enough to see. Okay. All right, are you ready? That's it. Um, due to the work of a number of different people, we have been able to figure out how to remap the side button on the Surface Pro 4 pen. And I am not, <laughs> I'm not releasing this code just yet because it's uh, not as smooth as I want it to be. Uh, within a week, I should have a, a better code. Uh, I will put it up in the uh, description of the next video that I make ab about this topic anyway. Uh, so subscribe so that you guys can find out what that is. Uh, yes, this is slightly a tactic, but it is also partly because sometimes when I click, uh, it opens the, uh, uh, it presses the Windows key. So there's a couple of different uh, caveats that I want to make some improvements on, and I also want to map this to the undo slider inside of Photoshop. I think it's it's really cool. Um, I can also map this, and it can be mapped really to just about anything, but it can be mapped to the color picker too. So if you guys are used to that workflow from a Wacom device, uh, you should be able to replicate that now on your Surface Pro, um, your Vial Z Flip, your Surface Book, or whatever has that Ntrig um, screen that you have been missing some of the Wacom functionality on. All right, well, I am really excited about this. This has been something I've been trying to figure out for a couple years, and able uh, finally being able to figure it out. Getting this working correctly has been huge. Um, this and the update uh, is in a config file inside of the community assets in mods. We've just created a mods folder there to adjust functionality. Um, hopefully we'll have something for ZBrush uh, within the next month that should work correctly. Um, right now, use toggle settings for modifiers. Uh, all right, it's too much information. All right, well, uh, I hope you guys had a wonderful day. I hope you guys are excited. And until next time, well, subscribe and stay creative. All right, bye. Here's the chest mount. It's like five different GoPro, uh, GoPro pieces on a selfie stick. And then I put the camera. Oh, not that way. Right in there.